go to bed. Oh, yes, you do. You look very tired. No, I don't. Come on, Sal. Be a good girl. Carly's a bit upset. The party's over, OK? All right. Hi, guys. Oh, happy that Ailes got back today. Did she call you? What happened? Oh, Carly spilt some champagne. <sighs> yeah, well, she never could hold the dog, could she? Hey, hey, take it easy. Have I got a minute? Yeah, sure. I'd like to explain a few things. You remember that old T-shirt Martin used to have with that cartoon on it with that guy saying, I don't have a drinking problem, I just forgot to stop? Well, um, when I was in the city, I, I forgot to stop too. And now it's at the stage where I, I want to stop, but I can't. So, um, I'm going to try really hard to get some help. But it'll be really good if you didn't make a fuss about it, if you could just, um, carry on like normal and keep it to yourselves, then that'd be great. Yeah, sure. Sure. OK, we'll make a move. We'll be back in about half an hour. How long has it been going on for, Carly? Uh, about three months. Well, since I left home, really. Every night? Oh, well, not at first. Um, yeah, I guess it has been every night. So it's never just a case of a glass or two after dinner? So once you start, you just keep drinking? Um, usually I just stay on the lounge. Then I wake up and I feel terrible. I spend all morning in this haze. And I never have any breakfast. I haven't had breakfast for ages, I can't really remember the last time. But after lunch, I feel a bit better. And then, night time, I feel like a drink again. Do you feel like a drink now? It's not a trap or anything. Have you got one? No. But you want one, don't you? And how does that make you feel? Scared? Angry? Yeah, both, all right? I mean, what does it matter? I mean, there's no point trying to make me feel guilty. For God's sake, I feel as guilty as hell already. Look, can't you just tell me what I've done to myself? I just want to get out of this. Well, to state the obvious, you've lost all self-discipline as regards the intake of alcohol. So in that sense, you're addicted. But if you're worried about liver or brain damage, forget it. It takes years of abuse to wreck your body. Still, that will happen if you don't stop. I'll stop. I want to stop. Good. You've crossed the first bridge then. So what happens now? You go home. You give Tom and Pippa any little supplies you may have hidden somewhere. And then you go cold turkey. Clean all the alcohol out of your system. It'll take about, well, I'd say, 72 hours, probably. And it'll be 72 tough, hard hours. For you too, Tom. But don't try to use any sort of tranquilizers or sleeping pills to help you through it. That doesn't solve anything. It just creates another dependency. The only way to do this is to do it cold. And then I'll be all right? No, no. Not quite. You see, Carly, heavy drinking is just a symptom of something. And so we fix the symptom first. Then we have to go looking for the cause. Oh, what does that mean? Well, counselling. Possibly psychiatry. It depends on the nature of the problem. But it's nothing to get uptight about. I fix influenza and they fix alcoholism. There's not much difference, really. Still, no need to worry about that at this stage. Just go home and stay strong. In a few days, you'll feel wonderful. I'll drop in tomorrow and see how it's going, OK? She's okay. Her old van was empty, so she was happy to bed down there. Oh, good. I think we might have to take shifts tonight. 
You know, talking to Bobby, I get the impression this hasn't surprised her that much. I mean, she didn't say a lot, but I could swear she knew something. How could we miss it, Tom? If the other kids knew, she must have been drinking while she was here. Yeah, well, she obviously snuck the odd glass. Why didn't we know? <laughs> kids are experts at hiding things like that. Hey, come on. This morning you were the one telling me not to blame myself. It hasn't happened because of anything we did or we didn't do. That's my line. <laughs> when Carly went to the city, she obviously got in with a bad crowd. It's not our job to criticise her, it's... It's just our job to make sure she gets over it. Tom! I'll go. You get some sleep. It's all right. It's me. There's Pippa in there. What time is it? Five after five. Five o'clock. It's been going all night. Yeah. Some more water, love? You couldn't sleep either, eh? No, don't blame you. Sounds really lucky. She must be dying, is she? What? Carly, Tom said she was feeling a bit upset. It sounds a lot more than being upset to me. And I know she went to the doctor last night. And I know she said something to all of you that I wasn't allowed to hear. So it's got to be something big. <coughs> so she must be dying or something. Oh, no, it's not that bad, Sarah. Well, what is it then? And don't tell me she's just a little bit upset, because I'm not thick, you know. I know it's got to be more than that. Sit down. Yeah, well, it's more than that. When she was down in the city, she started drinking a lot. You know when adults drink, they get drunk, right? Well, Carly started getting drunk too. And is this uh, what happens when you get drunk, is it? Who's telling the story? You or me? Yeah, so this is what happens when you get drunk too often. You hate it. You decide to stop. You can't. It's called cold turkey. Cold turkey? Yeah, it's... It's a funny name, I know. It's got a lot to do with biology and drugs and everything. So it means that she'll be sick for two or three days, but she'll come out feeling ten times better. So she's not going to die then? No, Sarah, she's not going to die. I promise. I'll take this out. Why don't you try and get some rest? I can go. Yeah. It's okay, love. It's okay. You've got to lie there and be sick for 72 hours, and then you'll feel a lot better. G'day, kiddo. Hello. Well, what you doing? Go in the house, eh? No, playing. What are you doing? Oh, uh, we've got the tape of our new song here. We thought we'd come over and give you a listen, a sneak preview type of thing, eh? It's a real beauty, eh, Mark? Yeah, it's a work of genius. It's yeah. a classic already, mate. We can't play it now, because Carly's on cold turkey. Carly? Yeah, she got back from the city yesterday and had to have cold turkey. Yeah, but break your own mum used to do that to us, too. What? Oh, you know, mate, when you had a big race the night before, she'd dish up all the leftovers, you know. She'd say, think of all those starving millions in India, she'd say to you, and stuff cold potatoes and stuff in front of you, you know. My dad used to hate it, yeah. But listen, Sal, look, I know how she's feeling, eh? Yeah, this is going to help her. It's not going to make her vomit or anything. Well, she already has. She was sick all night last night. Oh, yeah? Hey, Carl, mate, we better go. Oh, must have been a cooked turkey or something, eh? Let's see, Sal. Hey, where Hi. are we going? Vet 
Oh, Turkey. Yeah, you're drunk with the drunk sort, not the food sort. Oh, jeez. She must have come back from the city to try and kick the habit. Poor Carl's, eh? Mm. What a bummer. Yeah, I know. But imagine what people like Seals are going to make out of something like that. I mean, you reckon they would have tried to keep it under wraps or something, wouldn't you? Oh, I reckon they have, mate. I mean, take a look around. You don't see anyone gabbing on about it, do you? And let's face it, the retailers around here are dying out for months on news like that. Yeah. That's right, eh? I guess we must be part of the family or something. Yeah, although it was Sally who told us, you know, and she didn't really know what it meant. So... What the hell? What? What if Sally was overheard it or something and she's off giving it to everyone, while Tom and Pippa still think it's a secret? OK, boys, what'll it be? Let's get back there, come on. Now, who did Sally hear it from? Oh, we don't know. All we know is what she told us, which is why we thought it was drugs. No, it's not drugs. OK, so it's not drugs. Sally? We just thought maybe Sally wasn't meant to know. She isn't. Oh, right, so what if she goes around telling people? Well, where was she? At the dining table. Yeah, she's not here now, but... We're no. just trying to help, you know. We weren't sure if you'd mind us spreading the word or not. Well, of course I mind. Look, Carly's problem is not drugs, it's alcohol. It's drinking. She's going through hell. She can't even face me and Pippa. Let alone a town full of gossip mongers who think she's on drugs. Well, we'd better find Sally before she tells anyone else then, eh? Yeah, I think we'd better. Hey, Rodio. Can I come in? How are you feeling? How do I look? I've got to say, I'm, I'm pretty impressed, Carl. It took a lot of guts to admit you was growing up. And what you're having to go through now, gee, I don't know, it must be hell. I really admire you for doing it. And, well, if there's anything I can do to help, just let me know. Oh, where's Philip now? Come, in. Come, Come to on. see how I'm doing, no doubt. You don't think you would have told anybody, do you? Of course not, dummy. Well, what would he have said to people? Why would they think he was coming here? Well, he's gonna know, and even if someone does, they'll just think, well, so he's dropping in, so what? It happens all the time around here. I'll give you a call this afternoon, Pippa, see how she's going. They may pop in again tonight sometime. OK, thanks, Phil. They mention it. All part of the service. Bye. Yeah, see ya. Pippa? Hello, Donald. I'm glad I caught you. Can we have a word, please? It's, uh... It's, uh... It is rather important. What's it about? Well, it's about Carly, actually, or, or more specifically, about Carly's request to repeat Year 12. I feel it may be difficult to honour this if there's any substance to the rumours currently sweeping through town. Rumours? Well, yes. Yes, one, one hears she's a drug addict. I don't know how the story originated, but everyone seems to believe it. So I can only assume that there is at least some element of truth in it. And naturally, if this is the case... But it isn't the case. I can hardly enrol someone with a known history of drug abuse. Don't you keep your voice down. Carly hasn't a history of drug abuse, and she isn't an addict. It's all lies. Well, you can guarantee that, can you? That there's absolutely no truth to the stories whatsoever? No. Not as they are. It certainly has nothing to do with drugs. I can guarantee that. Well, what does it have to do with then? I'm sorry if you feel I'm prying, but if she is going to return to school, I feel I must know. Yes, I can understand that. Come in for a minute. Thank you. 